approached me by the name of Jeff Benedict, who's a local writer in Connecticut. He's written quite a number of books now. But anyway, he said, to, he knocked at my door and he said, my name is Jeff Benedict. He said, do you know who I am? I said, I know who you are. And I said, what took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> because again, we always wanted somebody with some power to come to our side to stop them from what they did to us. The wolves were at our door. And Lori Canary and her husband can attest to that because they lived in our neighborhood at that time. Mm. Well, after the book was written and it was published, I said, how the world will never forget what happened to us. A couple of years later, I had a young couple approach me. You know, and i got to say, with Jeff Benedict, I really trusted Jeff, and he did a great job. He really did. We had to combine the characters, so if you think about it really, so almost a 400-page book. It's probably over 200 people involved with this battle in a four-year period, I mean a 10-year period, you had to condense it into you know, an hour and a half movie. But after that, Ted and Courtney Ballacher approached me about writing a movie. And again, they were really good people, and I trusted them. And they created this wonderful movie that really shows what happened to us in a way everybody can understand. I mean, there's some legal stuff in there, but this is from the heart. These, these people were, were cronies after us, and they destroyed us. They destroyed our homes and our happiness. When this movie came out and on their website, they, they're continuing the eminent domain fight by having been involved with, as activists with the Institute for Justice. So if you have a chance to look on the site called littlepinkmoviesite.com, littlepinkmovie.com, you can see where you can participate and continue the fight to stop and the domain in this country. Thank you very much.